Hey there, and welcome to the All 2 HS Spotlight Podcast. Here we will deep dive into the world of self-directed learning. As educators, parents, and students, we're always looking for ways to make learning more engaging, fulfilling, and connected to our real life passions and ambitions. And that's exactly what this podcast series aims to explore. In this series, we'll talk about things related to self-directed learning, otherwise known as unschooling. We believe in the power of education that respects the individual learner, their interests, and their pace. And we're excited to share this journey with you. We're gonna hear from adults who are given the freedom to unschool their formative years and they'll be sharing their experiences, insights, and how their unique learning paths have shaped their lives and careers. We're also going to engage in insightful conversations with thought leaders and influencers in the realm of self-directed learning. They'll help us explore this educational philosophy in depth and shed some light on strategies, benefits, and challenges that are associated with it. And lastly, we will bring you right into the heart of the action with recordings from our career conversation sessions. These sessions are lively discussions with students navigating their way through self-directed learning, making important decisions about their future careers and growing in confidence and self-awareness. We look forward to bringing you these podcast series a couple times a month. So stay tuned for future episodes. Hey everyone, welcome to the inaugural episode of the Alt2HS Spotlight. I am Coach Terry and I am thrilled to have you join us on this journey into the world of self-directed learning. Today we're going to set the stage for a series that I am hopeful will be as transformative as it is insightful. But before we delve deeper into the subject matter, I thought it would be fitting to give you a teaser of my own personal story when it comes to unschooling. And I'm sure that many of the parents out there and folks that have ventured down this path have their own um, crazy story of how they finally let go and moved into it. And I'm gonna share much more of my story later on. Growing up, like many of you, I was schooled traditionally. Our school days were structured with set subjects, strict schedules, and an expectation to fit into the system, which I did not. But looking back, I have to admit that most of my profound learning experiences happened outside of school during my personal reading time. And I was an absolute bookworm on family trips or while pursuing my own hobbies. And mostly <clears throat> they occurred after I barely graduated and left home for college. So let's fast forward to when I became a parent. When my child started his schooling journey, I found myself questioning the very system that I grew up in. It raised a lot of questions. Why on earth do we compartmentalize learning into subjects? Why does it have to happen at the same pace for all the kids when they're all so unique and different? The questions were many and the answers were elusive. And that is when I came across the concept of unschooling. How we ended up there, like I said, is a much longer story, and I will tell it in another episode. Meanwhile, I have to say that at first the idea was both intriguing and frightening. Unschooling represented everything that traditional schooling was not. It was fluid, it was child-led, interest-based, and it didn't confine learning to textbooks or classrooms or desks or tables. And it, um, it brought a freedom that caused a lot of fears. Like with the freedom came many, many, many fears. So I wondered how would my children fare in a world that values traditional education metrics? And how are they going to manage to get jobs and to get into college? Would they miss out on anything that was crucial for them? By the time I finally took the plunge, albeit very hesitantly still, even in the end, I had two non-neurotypical children who would not fit into the standard school system. And I was determined to provide an environment for them that would help them both on their very different and unique learning paths. 
the transition was not easy. There were days filled with self-doubt, with worries and confusion. But there were also days of joy and discovery and a sense of liberation that traditional school rarely offered. Before we venture any further, I want to clarify what I'm actually talking about. Unschooling, or as I prefer to call it, self-directed learning or self-directed education, comes in various forms. There is the almost unschoolers who give their children the freedom to follow their interest, but they set requirements for subjects that they think are important, like math and English. At the very other end of the spectrum are the radical unschoolers who take a very hands-off approach to learning and sometimes extend that to unparenting, as it were, completely leaving their children to their own devices. This radical approach has unfortunately cast a shadow over the term unschooling for a lot of folks. And due to our cultural programming and the idea of trusting a child to learn what is appropriate and necessary without direct oversight seems absolutely absurd or outlandish. To offer a more academic perspective and hopefully sidestep some of the perceived preconceived biases, I prefer the term self-directed education. So what exactly is self-directed education and how or why does it work? Self-directed education is about engaging with children through play, participating with them and allowing them the freedom to play independently. It is about encouraging them to express their imagination, supporting their endeavors, reading with them, and providing the scaffolding they need to explore their interests. Above all, it revolves around trusting and respecting them as unique individuals. Self-directed education recognizes that learning isn't confined to when we deliberately set out to teach. In other words, it doesn't happen only between the hours of eight and three. It occurs in an environment where curiosity is the compass and where children are active partners in their education and where the adult's role is to guide, support, and facilitate, not to impose or restrict or coerce. There are no rigid requirements in self-directed learning. And it works. It works because this is how we are naturally wired to learn. It's how we have been learning for thousands of years. It works because it's a holistic process that connects the mind and the body, as well as the many areas of knowledge that we've only just recently divided into subjects. It's ironic that a well-rounded education today often means studying a number of these disconnected subjects rather than understanding them in context. Consider this, there is scarcely an interest one could pursue that doesn't inherently involve critical thinking, reading, writing, and mathematics. Today, as I watch my children and many others that I have gotten the privilege to know over time thrive, pursuing their interests and learning at their own pace and in context, I know that I have made the right choice. Their journey of unschooling has been a learning experience for me too. It's pushed me to unlearn and relearn many pre preconceived notions about education. And our journey doesn't stop here. With this podcast series, I hope to share our experiences, insights, and challenges to talk to others who have trodden the same path and to create a community where we can learn from each other. So whether you're a parent, an educator, or a student, if you've ever questioned the one-size-fits-all approach to education, this podcast is for you. Together, let's explore the path less trodden and uncover the wonders of self-directed learning. Thank you for joining me in our first episode. Stay tuned and follow as we, develop, as we delve deeper into the world of self-directed learning in our upcoming episodes. 
Thank you for being here with us today. The Alt-2HS Spotlight podcast is for anyone interested in alternative education models, those questioning the traditional school system, and those looking to inspire learners to take control of their educational journey. Together, we will uncover the potential of self-directed learning and how it can shape a more fulfilling, personalized education for every learner. Stay tuned for more exciting, enlightening, and transformative glimpses into the world of self-directed education. Subscribe or follow if you want to learn more about this process. Share if you know folks who can use a fresh alternative for their children's education. Thank you again, and we'll see you the next time.